Hi everyone, it's me Jojo and I am back. I have been so busy because there have been so many changes since launching my incredible Mac collection at the beginning of this year, including new management. So I have an entire different team of people and I didn't really know what to do. I wanted to like restructure everything and make it brand new. And I wanted to get some touch-ups done to my face, um, which we can talk about in later content. But I also didn't want to just do the simple videos that I've been doing for years and years and years on this channel. I wanted to do something completely new. So here we go. We're starting with a new video today with the wonderful Nanogen and a bit of a fill you in since my hair transplant. So as you guys know, I am one of those annoying perfectionist people and I've got to make sure everything is correct. And if it's not correct, to my standards I will go out and change it and <laughs> I have been dealing with my hairline it's a completely um, hereditary thing I have never been receding through balding but I used to wear wigs with a lot of glue and back in the day the glue honey it was not what it is today and it pulled out a lot of my fringe and damaged a lot of my hair I don't think people even notice I've had it done. It's been quite a long time ago now, but my hair is so dense, so thick, that it had to be done in a certain way that the follicles would still look natural and it would blend into the rest of my hair. And obviously around my hairline, you can see, I still touch up a little bit with eyeshadow just to kind of give the makeup perfection edging. But it is amazing. I'm so blown away. Dr. Graham Shaw did my um, hairline at Da Vinci Hair in Harley Street. It was so simple. I actually got home after I went home on the train on my own, <laughs> um, bandaged up, and I, I was quite comfortable. It wasn't painful at all, didn't do much. Um, but it was an incredible experience. And if anyone's insecure, male, female, or in between about anything to do with your hairline, I advise checking them out. They're awesome. Now, since doing the hair transplant, I have really wanted to nurture my hair. I've been kind of on this like, this renovation where I just put everything back in order. Because for me, I, I think like I took on so much stress in the lockdown and I actually left my partner. Um, I was in a long-term relationship, which was incredibly, um, it was difficult during the pandemic for a number of reasons. And I'll do some personal videos about that later. But I really didn't feel like I was in the position that I needed to be in. I wanted to do so much more in my career. And it, it, it was just very tricky with long distances and houses overseas and things. So having to reset and to start again, I thought, my God, I look so haggard at the moment. I'm not taking care of myself. I'm getting stressed out. How do I fix this? So I really did some deep dive research into hair because my hair has been going gray since I was very, very, very young. Um, I actually have my nan, which you probably have seen from my fabulous photo shoot I did a couple of years ago now in tribute to my nan on my mum's side, Nanny Beryl, we used to call her. Um, she had grey hair since she was a kid. She, she went grey like in her 20s, which is a kid in my standards. <laughs> I have follow sweet and my hair went great very early on. It doesn't take to dye anymore. I find it very difficult to um, pre, you have to precondition your hair with the peroxide before dye takes to my hair. It just won't accept the dye anymore. So I thought, what do I do? I can either do my hair gray all over. I could do highlights with gray. I could color in my roots. And over time, because I kept touching up my roots, then lightening the roots to get them back to the gray of the ends, it just started to look damaged in my opinion. And I'm a bit of a freak and I can't bear that. So what I did is I cut all the hair off and I wanted it to grow back and I wanted it to be really incredibly thick and gorgeous. So working with CW, who are one of the most incredible, incredible um, cosmetic networks, specifically for women, but it's so open up to all people now. CW have invited me for a couple of years now to attend their awards and I got introduced to a number of brands in hair this year that blew me away and one in particular is Nanogen. You can find it at Look Fantastic online. It's one of the most amazing products. Nanogen is one of my favourite new products because it's a unisex brand but it targets people that are actually thinning and losing their hair. So this can happen for a number of reasons. It can be uh, something that happens through your life. It can be something that's caused by hormonal changes. If you go through illness or stress or all different things can contribute to actually hair loss. And it's not just a problem that men go through, it's something that all people go through. And it's it's something that I've always been aware of because I could see it, my, my hairline was so asymmetric. On this side, it was um, up and away. And on this side, it was round and down. So I was a bit of a half and half for a long period of time in my life. <laughs> um, but I always wanted to fill it in. So what I used to do back in the day is I used to really draw in hair. So I'd color in the area that was uneven and draw in hair strokes. I'm one of those people um, where I probably don't need to add extra volume, but I just want to. And because of the hair transplant, it's a slightly different volume to the rest of my hair. I want everything to look the same and to be gorgeous and voluminous and to fall into place. 
I don't style my hair into a particular shape. I let it kind of sit where it goes and I just style around it. So it's really important to me that the hair's in great condition and it just feels and looks fantastic. So here is the priming spray. It's the hair fiber locking spray. It's wind and rain resistant. And it's basically, it says on the, on the tin, designed for nanogen, this ultra strong polymer spray locks your fibers in place and optimizes your style. Resists wind, rain, and perspiration. And please forgive me because under these lights, I've been out of practice. I'm overwhelmingly hot. Anyway, you get the fibers in a number of colors and they come in these gorgeous little um, containers. You can see this is quite a dark one. They do do a gray, as you can see all the colors on the side, but the gray for me wouldn't give me the depth that I would need. So I would advise using one or two and mix them together. I'd probably use a one and a six to get an ashy gray color like my hair is. Um, and that would be great for me, but I would use it in a very artistic way around a stencil. So I would cut out a piece of paper, I'd use the locking spray and then the fibers and then repeat. And it would basically fill in that edge that I got before my hair transplant. So for anyone out there that's concerned that their hair looks thin, especially if you've got lighter hair as you get older, these are the ones to go for. You just part the area and you'd use the fibers in the correct way. And it's very straightforward. They come with an instruction manual and I've got quite a few. The way that this works is not like it sticks tiny little hairs to your scalp so it's not like synthesizing your actual hair if you can imagine like a feather it makes your hair become like a feather and these fibers attach to the hair follicle and it basically enhances the volume around it if you guys can see they're micro fibers they're tiny they're smaller than a human hair so they're not quite exactly as you'd imagine and they're a bit like you you can really build them up you can see the most fantastic results when a lot of women lose their hair in older years, especially through menopause or polycystic ovary syndrome can contribute to um, dehydrated testosterone in the body, which can then cause the issues with hair loss, which is a nightmare. And I can only send my love to all the people that are going through that because it's very difficult if you've got thinning hair all over to get a hair transplant. It's very... Um, a frustrating predicament but these cosmetics can really help and if it could be a saving grace for anyone out there that's struggling at the moment please check it out so let's have a look at the shampoo and conditioners hello they are so good it's just such luxurious because they think sometimes when you think about these sort of products you think like they're very masculine they're in this kind of like war paint simple neon green nonsense <laughs> you know the you know the kind of brands i'm talking about that they kind of oversell the product that it's for men and hair loss is not distinguished by gender it's completely happening to everyone in different circumstances as i've mentioned and this just feels like such a luxurious brand and my god if you can use a shampoo like this and it can change the way your hair feels why the hell not it's obviously it's a unisex but it looks luxurious it feels to me like it doesn't have that crazy foaming quality that I would say um, most cleansing shampoos would have. It's not like that. It feels like you're putting something into your hair that's that's almost a bit richer, but it does still foam. It's not like a sulfate free or... There are a couple like a Rich uh, by Bumble and Bumble, which they don't really foam at all. And a lot of the holistic um, brands, for example, Bauman's do a range for people with eczema, which can contribute to hair loss. Bauman's have a shampoo with none of the sulfates. It's got a lot of nurturing oils in. That doesn't foam at all. You have to really work it in the back of your hand or pump it through a mousse dispenser um, to get a real foam. This does foam. It feels like a normal luxury um beautiful shampoo it cleans your hair wonderfully you don't need to use that much of it but let me read what it actually says so cleanse your hair and fill the volume while gently exfoliating your scalp shampoo lux features a rich moisturizing and foaming lather which unlike other shampoos lightly conditions your hair leaving it silky yet not weighed down wash after wash now that is the experience that i found it was a conditioning shampoo it doesn't leave your hair feeling like it's desperately in need of moisture um but it didn't have the heaviness of a oily or silicone shampoo. Some of the ones that are really focused on moisturization or color refresh will put a layer of silicone in your hair and it can actually weigh your hair down. It's a bit of a difficult one. This one's got the right balance. It's got a lot of goodies for the scalp, so it promotes the regrowth of hair. It also has got a lovely smell. It's not quite a feminine smell. It's very unisex still. And there's then the gorgeous conditioner. So this is again, the conditioner that accompanies the shampoo. It says intensely nourishing, soothing, and of course, thickening, best describing the, feel, the feeling of using our greatest ever conditioner. With an upscale scent of forest fruit, 
this clever formula helps to keep hair feeling healthy and imparts a scalp invigoration you can actually feel. So it makes you, like, your hair just behaves so much better. If you were doing something like a curling look as well, I'd advise using these two because it just, it makes the hair adapt to what you want it to do. It doesn't feel like you're being weighed down by a super moisturising one, even though it does nourish and keep your hair feeling gorgeous. Um... It doesn't feel like you are being weighed down, which for this brand is exactly what it's intended to do. So I love it. And I was so happy to actually try this at the CW Awards. I really wanted to bring it to you guys because I don't have enough hair content. <laughs> I am not a hairdresser by any stretch of the imagination. I studied a biochemistry masters in cosmetic development, but I focused on skin and that side of the, the aisle. I love hair. I am always wanting my own hair to look great and I can get things done, but I'm not someone that's trained as a hairdresser or anything like that. So I bring things to you guys from my own experience and I try and advise things that I've gone through personally in a way that will be um, more realistic for you guys. Cause like, I'm not, I'm sure lots of people that are watching me, I'm not hair geniuses either. I can do the makeup and I can do the makeup all the live long day, but I'm not quite great with hair. So for years and years and years, I had to go through this sort of learning curve where I would try everything. I put my hair through so much stress and now I just want to make it easy and feel beautiful. So yes, that's where we're at. <laughs> So it's been such a pleasure to come back with this mini video. I'm gonna do a couple more hair focuses because I think it's cool to share with you what I'm loving and using at the moment. And I'm also on TikTok. Um, check out all the links to Nanogen in the description below. They are awesome and available to different places. So you can grab Nanogen and all the links below and they're available at Look Fantastic who are awesome. Um, I have been so excited to have a break from doing all my social media work and really focusing on getting to a space where I can do things professionally. And it's been so amazing because I, but well, it was kind of like an annoyance and I'll finish this video with a little blog so you guys are caught up with where I've been. I had been working so hard and I got to the point where we got this Mac deal on the table and I'd been doing all of this incredible work for two years, working on my Mac collection. And I had this vision in my head, I was gonna do this sort of 80s vintage theatrical thing while I was riding a unicorn. And <laughs> I got the unicorn from Broken Hair who are amazing. And I had all of this like incredible content filmed. My computer, which is my big editing iMac that I only use for editing, did the update as Apple does, and during the update, stopped. So all of my archive stuff, that thankfully not my historical archive stuff, but the stuff in the last year, the bits that I didn't have access to through my other computers, all of them are stuck, including my content surrounding the Mac launch. Thank God I got all the pictures. They were in a iCloud thing with Mac and Estee Lauder and things. I was so horrified and so upset that I've literally got all of this amazing stuff ready to go and I wasn't able to launch it with a collection. And then I got really poorly and I was on six weeks of steroids, which was awful. I then had to go through this process where I've broken my foot. So it's been like, like I don't know what it was. I think, do you know what? I This is me being a bit spiritual here. Because I never slowed down, it was like everyone saying to me, you've got to slow down. You need to take a minute to get back to calmness because so many different things happened. I had a really traumatizing experience because a family member nearly died in a traffic situation, um, which was the same week I was shooting SA Lauder. And it was just like, an it, you, I can't even describe it. It was the most unpleasant experience to do for so many reasons because it was literally like touch and go whilst I was in the offices in London trying to do the best I could with um the job I had on the table and my family were like you've got to go you've got to go you can't not go and it almost and it, including the person that was injured so I went and I gritted my teeth and got on with the whole job and and I it's obviously phenomenal it's been incredible and I'll talk more about that in another video but it just was so it, it physically took the breath from my body the whole experience of that and I had to like I was just trying to continue to get on with things and continue to do more work and I did so many art pieces so I've got this new campaign with Dell um I had all of this stuff ready to go for January and I just was like mm -mm, this ain't gonna work this ain't gonna work you cannot push yourself to the limit all the time I've been working for 17 years and I've rarely had a break in that whole experience I'm terrible at stopping i will if i've got a project to do i won't sleep until it's done i'll get <laughs> i'll do it with no sleep and it was just everything happening at the once and i think it's like your saturn returns which happens at the end of your 30 uh your end of your 20s and that's probably what this was all about but no it wasn't cool 
So I was designing an eyelash for a company. I have a new product called Transformation Balm, which I've designed, which is incredible. I also have a perfume and I work with the team that did Charlotte Tilbury's perfume. And I had um, personal one-on-one -on -one training with the nose. So I've learned to do perfumery in a different way to before, because previously I worked with Roger Dove back in the day. Oh, I met with Roger Dove and he gave me a reference anyway. Um, so it's it's been like a diabolical switch up and I, I'm so glad that I've got the breath back and I've got this brilliant new team and I've just done this incredible interview with American News which is brand new and I thought it was like a 10 minute feature about my Mac line and some bits that I've got coming out in the US and it's actually it was an hour long interview about me and it was incredible they invited me to do more and asked my opinion about topical things and you know me, I'm not filtered. <laughs> so I've just been really living life and enjoying myself and trying to rebalance things in a way that I can take days off. I can look at things in a fun way. I can enjoy myself more in what I do because I was really, really worn out. And girl, if you do not take breaks, the world will say you've got to stop and, and just have a breather. And to have a Mac collection out when I've been working so long to get to that goal has been such an extraordinary experience. And they donated 50,000 on my behalf to mermaids to celebrate me as the mermaid. And I don't know, like, it's just been like so much stuff has gone on at the same time. Um, there's so many different projects that I've got that I really want to bring to you guys, including an exhibition based on my Agitprop project. And I really, really, really want to talk more about things that went on during that process because there's so many ideas I had that I just didn't get to finish in the way I wanted to. And I want to do this whole um, exhibit based on tarot, which is going to be a new kind of project to start. So I've been really motivated and just centering myself and getting my ideas on paper because I'm constantly talking to brands about what they can do within their story, but I've never really brought it to me. I've never done like the Joseph Harwood line in a way that I wanted to. And that's definitely on the cards. So yeah, I just want to say to you guys, thank you so much for all the support. It's been such a needed break for me. I've not really wanted to do social media. I've not really wanted to put on glamorous looks or, or um, restart things. And oh my God, now TikTok are on my back to do TikTok content. And the new management are really excited to, for me to get all, all this new stuff out. And they've got some plans and things. So I'm just like, oh my God, I'm rearing and ready to go. So I think the break was needed because it's got my energy back. But now I'm like, oh my God, what do I have to do? <laughs> So love to you all. Um, thank you for all the support, specifically around the Mac launch. It's been incredible. I um, did this new campaign with Dell, which is really exciting because they've never worked with someone genuine or conforming in their entire history of Dell. And being the face of like a brand like Alienware, for God's sake, is just lunacy. And they were so, so amazing. Um, and I got to speak to their team internally and talk about my story. So there's been so many amazing things that I've done that I just want to get out there now. So bear with. Um, um, I know this was a long blog at the end of this video about hair, but I guess it's worth it because I've been missing in the moment. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, love to you all and I will see you all soon. <laughs> Check out Nanogen in the links below <laughs> and it looked fantastic.